Nigeria's Flying Eagles in a last-minute practice ahead of Saturday's encounter with Al Murabiton of Mauritania. The first leg was played in the Mauritanian capital and the Eagles were held to a one-all draw. Both teams need a decisive win in order to qualify for the continental tournament. The second leg will be played at home and the Flying Eagles are looking to maximize their advantage. Well, I mean, obviously, uh, the other game we played away from home and, and this time we are playing at home. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that we play at home, but obviously we have the, the advantage of the, of the crowd behind us and also the, the players who want to show their best against uh, with their fans watching. You know? Nigeria is a force to reckon with, recording the most success at the African Cup of Nations, winning seven titles. But they failed to qualify for the tournament in 2017. The draw in Mauritania has kept them in the contest, but they must win at home to stamp their authority. Coach Paul Ibogu says their previous match gave a good insight into the strength and weakness of their opponents. Yeah, the game on Saturday, on Saturday is very important. I mean, that, that's why we are assembled in the first place. And uh, we, we've got to this stage and now we want to make sure by the of week we, we, we complete the job now. After the qualifying stage, only the top eight teams would head for the AFCON finals next year, scheduled for the 24th of February in Niger. The best three teams from the tournament will represent Africa at the 2019 World Cup in Poland. But Nigeria needs to walk past the Mauritanian challengers known for taking down giants like Morocco and Guinea. Kelechi Amekalam, CGT and Abuja, Nigeria.